Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry and I'm getting ready to glue this project and I thought I would go ahead and turn the camera on and chit chat with you guys while I'm doing so. I've been working on these Disney themed banks. Sorry, I'm just putting some glue out. Um, and now I have it on my hands. Yay. So I get these banks from... Um, you can get them off of Oriental Trading, but I got, um, you can also get them off of Amazon. Um, if you get the free shipping coupon, it's cheaper to do it through Oriental Trading, just FYI. And this is just a little, oh, a little less than three inches square wooden bank with the stopper on the bottom. And I use a lot of the dress it up buttons. But I had purchased several sets before I learned that apparently Disney will have a conniption fit if you use any of their craft projects on a craft to sell. And so I had set them all aside and they were taking up a storage bin. And I decided I needed the storage bin for something else. So I decided to go ahead and use them up. And I have several made or in the process of being done. And I'll share them with you as I get them done. But this one is uh, Tangled, the movie Tangled, which is the Rapunzel themed. Um, also, fair warning, uh, the reason I call my site Quirky Cat Crafts is because I have a couple of quirky cats. There's one currently underneath my desk playing with my socks. So. Um, you may hear them meow from time to time, so fair warning on that. But anyway, so this is just um, weld bond, white glue, good for wood, tile, glass, foam, stone, ceramics, and more. And I use this on all of my mosaics, and it does a really good job. So the way that this is laid out, in case you're wondering is if I have multiples of the substrate or the base in a situation like this where I wanted to get all four sides laid out I used ones that I haven't uh, painted yet or anything to kind of lay out my project on and I do the same thing with uh, picture frames or lids of boxes if I've got a duplicate of the substrate then I will lay it out on a blank one um, so then all I have to do is transfer the tiles from one to another. So I'm going to slide these and they may be out of shot. Sorry if so. But we're going to start with, I think we'll start with this one. So um, I put the glue down on the substrate and then I also put a little glue on the back of the tile so that it's glue to glue and it helps it adhere better. And I line it up with the corners and I give it a good press to get a good seal and a good bond. So um, as you can see, I also used a couple of, I have a hairbrush and a comb that's actually from a different set, but obviously in my opinion, those kind of apply to Rapunzel. So. And I've added those on. So, um, I want to talk a little bit about the clay that I use while I'm doing this. There was a little bit of water in my brush, so the glue is a little wet. Um, I use Sculpey. Uh-oh, this isn't glued in. Hold on. I use Sculpey 3, uh, Sculpey Primo. And the Sculpey Primo Souffle. And let me tell you what I have learned. Sculpey 3, once it's baked, you're not going to be able to cut it. If you try to trim down a piece to fit into a spot, um, 9 times out of 10, the tile just crumbles on me. So when I am doing texture tiles like these little blue ones, um... I'll try to use the Sculpey Souffle because that clay cuts really, really well after baking. So, just FYI 
on that. Um, I'm using glossy accents to glue this little charm onto this tile because I baked it on there, but a lot of times after you bake, it's just not wanting to sit back in there correctly. There we go. Um, they'll pop out, so I'll remove items that I bake in the clay, put a little drop of the glossy accents glue and glue it back down, and it does a really good job. It holds really well, so. Okay, um, and this is a little charm that says dream. I have one on each side. It has wish, hope, and love, and then this one is dream. And, um... Anyway, so I do mixed media mosaics with the polymer clay. That is the craft of my choice right now. Um, I'm fairly new to the crafting world. I've been doing this about four years, but I never really did crafts prior to this. Um, I'm kind of OCD, and I like things to match and things to be balanced. And so that do, that's not really a conducive trait to have if you are, because art generally is, you know, messy, and, but what I did was found a craft where my OCD actually comes in handy. All right, I'm going to need my scissors, because I know that I need to trim some of these. I don't normally go all over the place like this. I'm kind of distracted. It's my first video. And so I'm trying to remember where I'm at and pay attention at the same time. Yeah, I do need to trim a little bit off of this. And we're going to trim off of this side because it looks like it's a little crooked anyway. So we're just going to take a smidge off. Oh, nope, still crooked. That's better. And a lot of times when I do mosaics, I will leave a little gap between the tiles. But on these little teeny tiny banks, I like the look better. There we go. If I... Don't have gaps in between. So... Um, this particular tile is a hand-painted. It's on white clay. And any of you that have watched Sarah with My Serenity Crafts or uh, Lori Micah, this is the Lori Micah style. To get the little wavy lines, I use this blade, and I just use the dull side of it. And I'll press it down into the clay on a big sheet and then cut it into pieces. And um, this is actually painted with Sharpie oil-based paint pens. And that works really well, I have found. So, but anyway, this is something I've been doing for about four years. And I enjoy it. And so, I figured I would come on here and share my joy and see if I can inspire others. Um, I am a truck driver by trade. That is my day job. Um, so I work overnights Monday through Friday, um, about 12 to 14 hours each day. So during the week, it is pretty much drive the truck, feed the cats, and go to sleep. So my crafty time is pretty limited to the weekends. And here comes one of my gripey little boys now. What do you want? They're upset because the washing machine is going and that scares them. So um, anyway, so yeah, truck driver. I've been doing that about 10 years. And um, I enjoy it. Um, I am on what they call a regional fleet, so I don't live in the truck. I'm home every night. Although I did live in the truck for the first two years that I was driving. 
that was an adventure and not something I will ever do again. So I just noticed that I'm not quite up to the edge there. Because it's a crooked tile, that's why. Let's turn it. That's why. It's a little crooked. There we go. That's better. So, it's like a puzzle. And sometimes you just gotta fidget with it. These are um, pre-made glitter tiles. Um, I order them off of Amazon. I think I have every color of the rainbow. Sometimes I'll put stickers on them. But I feel like on this mosaic, I've got enough going on that I felt like that would be visually overwhelming. So I might change my mind once it's all done and put together, but you never know. Um, and that's part of it, too, with the layouts is I'll lay it out like this and try and get an idea of where I'm going and what I'm doing. But it could change at any given moment. This is a little mirror tile. And it actually has a backing you can peel off. Um, again, most of my supplies come off of Amazon. Um, I don't have time to shop. Um, and what little crafting time I have available, I want to spend it in here making things, not at the craft store. So, so I buy quite a bit off of Amazon. So, And I felt like these flower stickers were kind of resembled the flowers that were in the movie, which I just watched the other day. A cute one so there we go there and then I also have smaller versions of the glitter tiles I actually order these from oops um, not the glitter ones but they have glass tiles in the craft section at the Dollar Tree um, but I don't I can never find what I'm looking for when I go into the stores so I've just started ordering by the case dang it and they'll deliver it to the store and then you just go pick it up and it's free shipping. Um, and I get a lot of my substrates and a few other random things from there. So it needs to go over just a little more. This is gold leafing and it's actually done on a blend, a mix of clays. When I first started, when I would get to the end of a brick of clay, I would mix it all together like all the blues together all the greens together and so on and I can already tell I got to turn this one and um, and then I realized that when you do that you're never going to be able to match the color again and so I quit doing blends but I have baggies of these blends from four years ago and so I use them for the leafing a lot of times And I just thought it was kind of pretty, pretty filler. And then these little gaps that are left will get um, bling chain or small beads or um, ball chain, things like that. And I'll do another video where I show filling in the gaps. So, all right. So that side is glued and I need to give it a few minutes and let the glue set up and if I try and turn it and glue another side uh, the tiles will slide on me so so we're gonna set that aside for the moment put the paintbrush in the water so it doesn't glue itself together and I'll go ahead and show you a couple other ones that I need to fill in the gaps on so this one is Nightmare Before Christmas so you got you know Jack Skeleton and um, I did purples mostly because of this sticker guy. So I use the purple for the background color. So it's kind of Halloween-y, but not completely. And these are stickers on chipboard. And then I varnished over the top. So, and I do need to fill in gaps on this. And I painted this one silver. And then I glue these little... Um, like what are they called the fairy garden rocks or whatever 
onto the bottom for feet so that it'll stand up a little bit. So that's the Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I've got Aladdin. And what I really like about this one is, okay, so this charm says dream and it has a crescent moon. So I added a crescent moon up here, crescent moon charm. And aren't these tiles pretty? Um, I think they're called Van Gogh tiles. Again, off of Amazon. So they're, it's kind of two-toned. I think that one's like purple and copper or something like that. So it's really pretty. And then I'll use, um, this is just music notes, like sheet music. And I'll stamp it out and cut it into shapes. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, hold on. <coughs> Getting over a little bit of a cold. Um, and then I did a little coating of um, glitter glue on the top to give it a little sparkle. So we got Aladdin. And then this was just a random stamp I had, which is Iago. So, because I didn't have a button for him. And then I did a treasure chest. And then his says hope. And it has a flower. So I did a flower there. And then you've got Jasmine and her tiger. And I'm sorry, Disney fans. I don't know his name. And it says love. So, of course, I have a heart up in the corner. And then got Genie with his lamp. And, of course, his says wish. And it has a star. So I put a star up in the corner. And I haven't glued feet onto this one yet. I need to. So that is Aladdin. And then we've got Lion King. And I had these stamp set, this stamp set that was uh, Jungle Animals. And it's just the silhouette. And I really like how those came out on the gold clay. With just the black ink. And I use um, archival ink. When I'm stamping those out. So. Circle of life. I actually did that with just an alphabet stamp set. And I. You know. Laid it out. And stamped it. Um, and then got the tree. And this. I have one of these little gold flowers on each side. And then this one has the tree. And then. This side. Says Hakuna Matata. And it's got the beetle. Because he likes to eat bugs. And then this side just says wild and free. And I did the adult lion, the lion cub, and the monkey. And then this is just a silhouette of a, you know, kind of a jungle savanna kind of scene. So, and a feather. And then on this side it says welcome to the jungle. And it's got a leaf and the gold. So, and again the feet on the bottom. So I do need to fill in the gaps on this one as well. So I like how that one came out. And then this one is cars. So this is a stamp that is like a tire tread mark. And again, just black ink and I did it on silver glitter clay. Um, this is red leafing. I found it's like a nail supply, like fingernail supply. Um, and I, you guys will see my hands are always a mess because mm -hmm, truck driver, but, um, they actually have different colors, not just like gold and silver. So I'm, I ordered a set and so this is red, obviously. And then these are, um, charms for like the croc shoes. So they're rubber and they come with the little black like nub on the back so you can pop it through the holes in the crocs. And I order them off in bulk off Amazon, and I just cut the black um, post off the back and um, and then glue it to a tile. So, and then you got traffic light and whatnot. And then you got Mater, got to have Mater, of course. And then a couple more vehicles, so. So that is the cars one. And now that I've started this, I want to go grab the rest. So hang on just a second, you guys.
Okay, I am back. I'm going to set these down without dropping them. All right, so. All right, so this one is Monsters, Inc. So you've got Boo and a door. And then you got Sullivan. And just the word boo. That actually was part of a Halloween stamp uh, button set. And Mike Wazowski. Um, this is black clay with a texture of just lines. And then I did just multiple colors of mica powders on it. So it's kind of like, you know, what a kid would finger paint or something. So I thought that worked. And that's why I also did the crowns couple of monster faces. I had a little monster stamp set. And those are colored with the mica powders as well. And then the mirror tiles with the buttons, I felt like on her door in the movie, there's flowers on it. And so I felt like that style of flower would work well. And so I filled in the gaps with um, bling chain, ball chain, some smaller square tiles. I'm always looking for something square or flat that I can use to fill in gaps. That being said, these are little like bugle bead, but it filled in that gap nicely for me. So, and I need to varnish the tops of these. Not my favorite part to do, so that tends to always be something I have to force myself to do. All right. This one's a little different because on this side, it's just one big stamp. And I don't know how well it's going to video. But it says all you need is faith and trust and a little pixie dust. And then there's a fairy with her hand up and she's blowing pixie dust. And so that's one side because I only had three Tinkerbell buttons. And so it says make a wish. And get the moon. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. So there's some more ball chain filler. And believe in the magic. So that is my Tinkerbell one. And I used blue, clear blue for the feet on this one. I like to use the blue pearl clay for anything that I'm trying to have represent sky. So, like the sun and the rainbow bugs. Bugs are usually up in the sky. So, usually better there than in your house, right? <laughs> All right, which one should we do next? Um, we'll do these two next. All right. So, this one is Finding Nemo. And I can't find these metal charms anymore. I used to get them all the time at, like, Michael's. Um, and it was just a set of four, um, from Charmalongs, but I haven't been able to find them here lately. Um, this is some of that blend that I was telling you about where I did different colors of clay and just squished it all together and ran it through my pasta machine. And I had quite a bit of it and it was kind of multi-toned, so. Got the seagulls where they say mine, of course. And got Dory. And I had some stickers that I, I really like to use the mirror tiles for stickers. And then also for buttons. And then, yes, I totally stole this idea from Sarah. Don't attack me in the comments, y'all. I asked her first. Um, mirror tile. And these are buttons and they're just bubbles. So. And I feel like, I don't know, I might go back and add something on the tops of these not quite sure but that one is the Finding Nemo and then this one is a uh, Little Mermaid obviously and flounder I like to do tiles with music notes as just filler because it pretty much music goes with anything um, stickers on the mirrors again. And 
and Sebastian. And that's just a pre-made uh, strung beads. When Joann's has their string beads at 60% off for all of them, I go buy quite a few. So, um, so that is my Little Mermaid one. And this one is Frozen. And I did a lot of just obviously silver and blue. Kind of representing the snow. And you guys, I apologize. I threw a load of laundry in right before I started recording. And if my washing machine is making a lot of noise in the background, I apologize. Um, so here's some more of those music notes just on. I used silver ink. And then these are stickers that I just stuck down on cardstock. And then this is like a plastic, um, I think they're called like a domino tile or something like that. But it's just clear plastic that I covered it with and then trim around it, protect the sticker. You got Olaf. So, and this one is silver. Uh-oh, something's loose over here. Yeah, I'll have to put a little more glue under that. Anyway, so that one is frozen. Just two more, guys. I know you're probably getting bored with me. Um, this is probably one of my favorites. Cinderella. And, again, I use those word charms again. And this is the pink uh, Princess Pearl clay. I love that color of clay. And then on the sides with the two mice, I did um, a couple of sewing themed buttons because of when they made her dress for her. And then you got the fairy godmother and a little coach and horse. Boy, I really like how this one turned out. The more I look at it, the more I'm in love with it. And then um, spool of thread and a little pair of scissors and Gus Gus. So, that is my Cinderella one. So, you can see why I'm a little disappointed, because I know these would sell like crazy, except for Disney won't let you. So, and this last one is just Minnie Mouse. And this is just, again, a sticker. It's Figaro the cat. And her little hair bow. And the word love. And I need to do the silver lines on this geometric one because I haven't done that yet. So, and then this side has, this is, it was a bag of buttons in the party favor aisle at the Dollar Tree. So they were uh, rings and I just cut the backs off because it has many in there. And then uh, pink leafing and I did a heart uh, texture stamp. And it says laugh. And then there's a little glitter paw print there because this is Figaro. And then this is just her ears and another sticker and the word dream. I like how this one came out also. So, And then on this side, um, I just added this uh, pink poodle with the pink and black dog bone because I figure we had... Figaro on this side. Why not have a poodle on this side? And it says live. So uh, the words are live, love, laugh, and dream. And so that is Minnie Mouse. And I also have Minnie in the red and white dress. And then I've got Mickey buttons for that as well. That's another one I'm going to do at some point in the future. Um, so those are the ones that I have done so far, and the rest of the buttons I have are Beauty and the Beast, Winnie the Pooh, um, Aristocats, Um, this is Doc McStuffins, which is a TV show. 
And then I have another bag of ones where it's like Care Bear and My Little Pony, which those are all the crock tarns as well. So these are my works in progress at the moment. And I think that this has dried enough that I can go ahead and do the next side. So, so we've got her on this side. So I think this side we're going to do Pascal. Brush. I forgot to take it out of the water. Dag nab it. Because if you get water mixed in with your glue, the glue won't stick as well. So I'm just blotting as much of the water off this old nasty paintbrush as I can. So, um, get some more glue put down here. But anyway, so, I guess in other news, like I said, I am a truck driver. And we have stray cats, feral cats, on our trucking yard that I feed, and if they let me catch them, I do my darndest to find homes for them. And last year I found homes for 14 cats off of our yard. So I'm kind of known as the cat lady there now. And pretty much what I spend my money on. Yep, drive the truck, feed the cats, do the crafty stuff. That's pretty much my life. So, tag nab it. Thought I had these all glued down and I didn't. So, I want to tell you guys too, um, I just recently ordered several, 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 several. Um, uh oh, I need a q tip. Too much glue. Um, stamp sets that are gnome themed because I know gnomes are very popular right now not necessarily my cup of tea but that's okay but I have several sets of gnome in holidays and I had done a set of um, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit first I've done a set of holiday mosaics in the past where I use little hanging chalkboards that I get from the Dollar Tree. Um, I love using them because you don't have to do any prep work. It's just a black chalkboard. You can paint the frames if you want to. Um, and I do like a mosaic for each holiday. And so that it's a set where people can kind of rotate it out throughout the year. And I got inspired to do a holiday set with the gnomes. So I have several stamp sets and for the buttons I'm going to just use the holiday specific for the buttons. So the gnomes will be stamped on white clay and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to paint them or if I'm going to um, color them with the mica powders because if you paint them, you can do that um, after you bake. So I would just stamp the image onto the clay, bake it, and then paint it afterwards. But if you're going to do the mica powders, you need to do that before you bake. So I'll need to decide on that. But that's kind of an upcoming big project. It'll probably be a series of videos, obviously. And I know this is getting kind of long, but... If you don't want to sit here and listen to me chatter, then you can mute me or fast forward or go on to something else. So, um, I personally like the long videos, so that's why I'm doing, I do what I like, right? Isn't that, as long as you're not hurting anybody, do what you like. This particular tile here is part of um, a Hampton Arts stamp set that I stamped, baked, and then I colored with Sharpie markers. I have to pay attention so I don't lose track of where I'm gluing. Um, 
Oops. So yeah, you can color the clay with Sharpie markers and or any alcohol markers work. Um, you can use uh, craft paint, acrylic paint. I've been told you can use colored pencils, but I'll be honest, I tried that and I didn't, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but it just wasn't working for me. So I don't know if any of you all have that experience. Feel free to share. Peel the back off. I don't know if you can hear it, but okay, we'll talk about my cats. So my original cat is OP. And he is a black cat with no tail because he had a hard time understanding that his tail was actually attached to him. And he had overactive nerves in his back. So when his nerves would start misfiring, it would cause pain. And then his tail would start flicking. And then because he was in pain and that was moving, he would assume that's what the source of the pain was. So he was constantly attacking his own tail, like to the point where... Um, he used to be my brother's cat. My sister-in-law came home and said it was like it looked like a murder scene because he, his tail was bleeding and he was running all over the house. So, so um, and he used to also be very human aggressive. So the vet decided, kind of a last ditch effort, to remove the tail and see if that calmed him down. And now he's a completely different cat. So um, he's just turned eighteen. And he's a cranky old man cat. And so I never intended to get a second cat because I did not think he would accept. And also because I don't want to become crazy cat lady with a ton of cats in my house. And I need to trim a little bit off of that because it's sticking out a little too far. Um, and then last year here in Kansas City, which is where I live. Um... In the wintertime, we had a couple of days where it was like the wind chill was like negative 16. It was really cold. And so I was sitting in my living room and Opie was having a conniption fit. And I look over and there's this orange cat sitting on my back patio with his nose just pressed up against the sliding, the screen of the sliding glass door and his whiskers were frozen. And it just broke my heart. But, you know, him being a stray and I didn't know anything about him. Um, so I corralled him into my basement where he spent the first three months because I had intended to find him a home. And I had found him a home, or so I thought. And the person said, yeah, if you get him neutered, we'll, we'll take him. So I paid to get him neutered and then I could never get a hold of the person again. And then what was I supposed to do with him? I can just throw him back outside because now he knows this is a location for food. He would just be parked on my back steps all the time. So um, so we did a slow introduction with him and Opie. And it took a while for Opie to decide he was okay with it, with having a brother. But now for the most part, they get along. So they pretty much leave each other alone, to be honest. Um so the, that second cat is a big fat orange tomcat and I named him Garfield, which is kind of a nod to my mom. She loved Garfield cartoons and she passed away in 09. So, um, so his name is Garfield and he lives up to his name. He weighs like 22 pounds and he's currently laying in the window, basking in the sun and snoring. So anyway, so we got to let that sit. So. All right, you guys, I think we're going to call it good on this particular video. Um, like I said, um, keep an eye out for the Gnome Holiday Mosaics. That'll be coming soon. And um, I do have a Facebook page set up under Quirky Cat Crafts. And there is a photo gallery there of dang near every mosaic I've ever made. Um... I, most of my mosaics are custom designs where someone will ask me, hey, can you do me a, a, a mosaic in this theme or that theme or whatever? Um, so I do a lot of custom orders, but I'm actually going to 
slide this up. And we'll just put a little bit in there. Because I, yeah, anyway. So we're going to have to let that dry. So, um, but anyway, so if you want to head over there and take a look, feel free to do so. And I think that's it for now. So thanks for watching.